everyone. So I know my lighting's really funky today. Um, I've been filming early before I go to school like I always do because it gets dark before 5 and I'm not home until like 7 or 8 usually. But um, the sun doesn't rise until like 8 o'clock and it is 7.53 so it's like a little dusky but I can't really control that but I gotta film. Um, if I'm gonna film it all today I have to film now. So hopefully you don't mind that too much. Um, I don't think it'll affect the video too much. I don't, I mean I don't think so. But I'm also not one of those people that's super into like I have to have the highest quality video, so I don't know. I guess that's up to you. Um, but anyway, I'm sorry, I should put these in front of me. Uh, I am going to talk today about past or yeah, past makeup, Christmas makeup collections, because I feel like it's really easy to get like so caught up in the holidays or in you know limited edition items and being like, oh my gosh, I need this. It's just so pretty and unique, and I have to have it. So I've done that many times. Uh, I'm not trying to pretend like I'm above that by any means, because I'm not. Um, and I wanted to talk about, okay, so I bought these things. Where are they now? Do I still use them? Do I still like them? Do I even still have them? Um, if you want to go ahead, I'm going to link my entire declutter playlist down below, as well as my weekly product pan, because in both of those series, I have decluttered Christmas things. So there are definitely things that I've bought at Christmas that I have gone ahead and decluttered later because I decided I don't really like it that much. And if I don't really like it that much, there's no point in keeping it. So this is what I actually still have left. And we're gonna go ahead and get into it. So I'm gonna start with cheek products and then the rest are eye products because I love eyeshadow and eye products. Those are my favorite, so that's really what I buy more. Um, I do have this guy. This is the MAC Nutcracker Sweet uh, Peach Face Compact. I would open, I can't really show you very well because as you can see, the highlighter is shattered. It did that on its own. I didn't drop it or anything. It just broke really quickly after I bought it. Um, so this is the shade Tutu, and this is the shade At Dusk. At Dusk is by far one of my all-time favorite blushes. It's a beautiful matte, kind of a mauve nude. It looks amazing on the skin, but it, you do have to build it up, which I don't mind because I have a tendency to be a little heavy-handed on the blush. I'm a little heavy-handed today. It happens quite often. So I don't mind having a blush where you have to build it up a little more. It's actually kind of my preference. And then Tutu is actually the highlighter I have on today. I do have a cream highlighter on under it, but I feel like this is a beautiful, neutral, slightly gold leaning, but it's like a really cool gold. Um, it's a very unique shade and I really like it and I think it's beautiful. This is one thing that I bought for a holiday collection a couple of years ago. I wanna say this was 2016, but I could be wrong. And I don't regret it and I love it. Another holiday thing, but they've come out with a couple of these and they've come out with them not on the holidays. But this was part of a holiday collection by Benefit and it's the Cheekathon palette. So I didn't own any of the Benefit Cheek products. And I decided, well, might as well buy all of these because you can get like, I think this for six of them and there are, oh, sorry, five of them full size was like $58 and each one is like 32 I want to say and I could be wrong. I, you know, I'm spitballing here. I didn't look up all these prices. I don't have time for that. Nobody has time for that. Um, so I want to say that's approximately right. Um, so that was a great deal. Um, it has Rockator, Hula, Dandelion, Dallas, and Coralista. I really like Dandelion. Um, Hula is not my favorite bronzer. I use it sometimes. It's not my favorite. I like the blushes. I don't know that I think they're the most amazing things ever, but I do like them. I don't feel myself, find myself reaching for this that often. If we're being totally honest, um, you know, on the weekends when it's like, use whatever you want. I don't find myself grabbing for this, but it's fine. I don't hate it. It's just, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's fine. So now we're going to go to eye products. So first I'm going to talk about all of these little bitty Stila minis. So I got a collection and I don't remember exactly what was in each collection. So I'm just going to spitball here. Um, first I got a collection of three minis and that was $25 and then you could buy six. For 45 and the six had three so the three minis were all glitter and glows and the six had three glitter and glows and three shimmer and glows and I got this I believe it was last Christmas I'm almost positive um, so these are about a year old now a little bit over because I think I got them in like November maybe even October because you know Christmas stuff comes out in like July now um, and not even as like a fun Christmas in July just like as like it's Christmas now which I'm not really that opposed to so anyway um, I love the glitter and clothes. So I have six of those that are mini. Um, I think they're beautiful. I think they do a lot for your eye look and they're really unique and I just love them. However, I will say that they are drying out pretty badly. Um, now I do use them pretty often. So I think part of it is use, but like this, uh, this one's called Note, next to Note. And 
there's there is some use out of it you can see like there's a some bald spots if you twirl it around and I do use it a lot but it's getting flakier and it's just like it's like the base in it dried up so it's kind of hard to use so I don't love that and I have some full size um, that I got right around the same time and I'm not having that problem with the full size so I'm kind of thinking that these minis are just drying up a little fast um, but I do love them and I think it's a great way to try them some of these shades I think I will purchase again other ones I don't know if I would if they dry out but I do love these and I think they're a unique product that I really enjoy playing with and then I also have these three shimmer in glows I never use these I think I've used these like twice like one in one I don't I mean I'm pretty sure I've never used this dark one I, I don't know why I love cream eyeshadows but I don't know why I'm just not drawn to these I think I need to play with these some more for sure but I've also had them for over a year and if I've had them for over a year and I haven't touched them I feel like that says something for whatever reason, sometimes there's a reason, sometimes there's not. I'm just not that drawn to it, so, you know, that's that. Then, from MAC, I've also bought two of their pigment sets. So, I bought this little set of three last year, um, and it was, like, pink. And so, we have Whisper Pink, Copper Sparkle, and then Pink Glitter. So, I have these three. And then, I had a MAC Nutcracker Sweet one, and it had four. I've already gotten rid of two. And I have uh, Raining Riches Glitter on top, and on bottom is Star Dream. So these are really pretty pigments, and when I swatch them, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I love them. And I do use cream shadows, uh, not cream shadows, I'm sorry, um, loose shadows kind of often, because I think that they're really impactful. But I'm going to be totally honest with you, I never reach for these, and I don't know why. I don't know if it's the packaging, I feel like they're a little bit harder to work with, um, I don't really I really don't know why um, I don't feel like I've used these two glitters ever and the three pigments at the bottom I just never grab for again I'm just being honest here I I, I don't know I just don't ever I'm like oh I love this I need it so then we've got some eyeshadow palettes and I've got quite a few um, I love Christmas and I love palettes so let's just go ahead and get into it First, we have the Urban Decay Full Spectrum Palette. This came out uh, two years ago, and a lot of people didn't like it. And that's fine. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion, but I love it. I think it's a great palette. Um, oh, it came out. Yeah, it was two years ago. Sorry, I was, I was doing the math in my head. Um, so I just think it's a great palette. I think it's got a lot of color. I know people say it's not pigmented, and I don't know like what the difference is, but mine is extraordinarily pigmented. I tried a lot of eyeshadow and I feel like I have a decent um, expectation for pigmentation and this one is great to me. I love this palette. I do reach for it quite often. Um, when I want a color, this is kind of the first thing I think of um, and I love it. So definitely something that I still use and enjoy. Then we have this little trio. Um, you can see I'm missing one. I've already gotten rid of one because I used it in a weekly product pan. Played with it, didn't love it, so I got rid of it. Um, so I have, and it's actually still on my Poshmark if you're interested in the pink one. So then I have these two. I bought this trio for the pink one and I didn't like it. I, so we have Natural Beauty, which is just some browns and a bronzer. And then we have Super Fun Night, which is more of like a cool toned smoky eye look and a highlighter. I think I've used maybe once a piece. I never reach for them. And I think part of the reason I don't reach for these specifically is because I got a huge Too Faced order in all at once. And so it was like too much. So I didn't use any of them very much, which is not good. Um, but I just am not inspired by them. I don't love them. Next, we have the Urban Decay Urban Spectrum Palette. Um, this I love. This is all shimmer. We have greens, blues, purples, pinks, neutrals. And they're all amazing. They're all very impactful. You put them on your lid and they're like, kabam, I got some eyeshadow on. Really love it. I have nothing bad to say about it. Um, and yeah, I'm happy I bought this. No regrets there. And then I've got two. I'll grab both of these. These are the Smashbox Masterclass palettes. So they had a one and a two. I didn't buy either of those. I bought three. Um, and here we go. So we have 16 neutrals, 16 colors. Your contour kit and three blushes. This is good. I recently, uh, I think it was last week, I actually had black top in my weekly product pan, so I was using that. Um, sorry about the glare. But this is a really nice palette. I think um, the shades are pretty. I, I'm, I'm, I like it. 
I don't grab for it that often, but I grab for it occasionally, which, you know, for me, with how much I have, it's not that bad. Um, I don't love these cheek products, or this contour kit. They sell this kit of individually. People love it. It's just not for me, I don't think. Um, but yeah, I like it. I'm glad I have it. Uh, it doesn't, like, really inspire me and make me super happy, but I like it. This one, on the other hand, I really like um, so this one is the more colorful version. It's also got 32 shadows. It's got eight cheek products as opposed to six. Um, and you can see, tell here we got a lot of color. These oranges I reach for all the time when I want an orange. The greens are not the best. They're so pretty. I always want to use them, but they're not the best. These cheek products, anytime I use them, I'm really happy with them. Um, I don't know. I like the way it looks. Just like the pans. I don't know. It's very aesthetically pleasing to me. Um, big fan. Um, I like these. So I am happy about those guys. Then, with the MAC Nutcracker Suite, I also bought this cheek palette. This is the Cool Eye Compact. Yes, that's correct. Um, and it has nine shades. I love this one. Perfectly Spoiled. The other eight, I could totally do without. And Perfectly Spoiled, when I wear it, is that even what it's called? Or is it just called Spoiled? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, it's called Absurdly Pretty. I don't even know what I'm talking about. It's called Absurdly Pretty. Um, and I just don't love it. I really don't. I I don't know. I don't know why I've kept this palette for so long. I don't love it, and I don't think it's very good. Next, we have the Kat Von D Me Vita Loca Remix Palette. I've always been tempted by Kat Von D's um, Christmas collections. This year was no exception. I went and swatched it in store, even though I'm not buying Kat Von D anymore. And it was so pretty, and I was kind of like, I was like, John, I want this. John, I want this. And he was like, you're not buying them for her anymore. Um, this is a beautiful palette. It really is. I will say it's gotten older. And so as it's gotten older, there are certain things that I don't think are as good about it. But that's with anything. You know, makeup does expire. It does age. Um, but I think it's just kind of got everything you need. A lot of rainbow palettes don't have neutrals. A lot of neutrals don't have enough color for me. This has a great match of both. I don't support her anymore um, for other reasons. I've made a whole video about it. But... I still love this palette so there you go she makes good makeup you can't knock her makeup in my opinion then we have the makeup forever 15 uh, color eyeshadow I don't know this is when their artist shadows came out and everybody was dying over them and they had this palette and I thought that's great and so I bought it as this ages it gets this like gummy consistency so I have to scrape that off because you can't get any color out of it and like I said it's gummy it's kind of grody um, I think this is an odd assortment of colors. I like this blue. You can tell I have gotten some decent use out of that. I like this color and this purple. I like this like icy shade, this icy purple, though that never looks as good on this lid as I want it to. Um, so I like these shades. It's just weird, and I feel like whenever I reach for it, I can't get a full look, so I don't reach for it that often. I'm just being truthful. Okay, then I have an Urban Decay palette again. This is the Vice 4. So they come out with six vices they had the one through four the limited the like the bright green one i thought there was another one so maybe only five um i only own the four and here you go we've got these greens that i love these greens are some of the best greens in my entire collection these purples are great this orange shade you can tell i adore it i love this palette i reach for it um pretty often um, on my days that I'm not using product pan items and I just think it's beautiful. I've actually also drawn this in my weekly product pan twice, maybe three times, I think twice, and I love it. I love this palette. Um, I think it's aged well and I think it's great. So you can tell there are some trends. And the last one is Too Faced. Too Faced Gingerbread Palette. This came out this year so I feel like it's kind of cheating putting it in, but I'm gonna throw it in anyway because I have it. I love this palette. I still reach for it pretty often, even though I've had it for a couple of months now. Um, I reach for it all the time. The only shade I don't like in here is Sugar Daddy. It's a weird, chunky cream thing. I'm not sure what that is. But the other ones are great. They're extremely impactful. This Hot Toddy shade right here, uh, maybe you can pick up on the fact that it's a duochrome, and it is amazing all over the lid. A great assortment of colors. Um, really nothing bad to say about that palette. So, you can see there are some trends. Urban Decay I always love. I always am happy with their palettes that I've tried. Um, uh, you know, obviously I haven't tried everything. Smashbox is pretty good as well. MAC, I've only tried one, so I feel bad commenting on it. Um, Too Faced is very hit and miss for me. So, 
there you go. Those are the things that I have tried. You can tell that it's really easy to get caught up in stuff, like those pigments. Get caught up, feel like I need them, and then I don't ever use them. So hopefully this was helpful for you. Hopefully this will help you kind of think about what you buy before you buy it. I realize that it's already uh, the 12th of December, so a lot of y'all might have already purchased a lot of Christmas stuff because it's been out for like three months now. Um, but hopefully you still found it helpful and enjoyable. As always, if you have any questions, requests, suggestions, or comments, go ahead and leave those down below. And I'll just see y'all real soon. Bye.